Hey, what's up guys? So, my voice is kind of shot, so if I sound normal, great, but if I don't, then that's why. Um, hopefully it'll be better for next week, but you know, who knows. Um, so, on to today. I remember everything. And like, when I say I remember everything, I don't say, I don't mean that like, I have some sort of photographic memory or whatever. I just mean like, if you tell me something, I will remember it for years and years down the road, even if it has absolutely no point in my life. Um, like an example of this was my friend's sister told me her locker combo when she was a, in sixth grade and I was in eighth grade. So that was four years ago. A couple weeks ago, I was at her house and I see like this lock on the table. And they're like, oh yeah, we don't know the combo for it. I walk up, try this combo that I learned four years ago, and I got it right. So yeah, and I've come to the point where I'm pretty sure that I'm a superhero. And like, hear me out. Because, I mean, obviously, like, this is like something that like, can hold power over people. Like, oh, I remember back in fourth grade when I loaned you a pencil and you never gave it back. So absolutely no, I will not lend you five bucks because you really need it. All right, no, because you don't give stuff back. It also allows me to like remember things about people like, oh, Maddie over there, she likes volleyball and horseback riding and she's really nice and so you should talk to her. And like, I remember these things years and years down the road even if like no one else does, even if it seems pointless or I will never talk to a person again, but I just remember everything. And I think with that power comes a lot of responsibility also because technically I should then remember all of my homework stuff. But I think that is the one area where uh, my powers just kind of fall through sometimes. I don't know. It, who knows why, but sometimes I'm like, oh, was that homework? But you no, know, even then, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just that I wasn't paying attention in class. Yeah. Great yeah. student right here. I cannot decide if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, is it a gift or a curse to remember everything? And like usually I'm like, oh that's so cool, like I remember everything and stuff, but like lately like, oh my word, like, I'm like, why do I remember this stuff? Like I need to forget it, like, just, ugh, you, I regret everything, like literally, the, like the most stupid things, like remember, like when I was in like first grade and I thought I saw my neighbor in the bathroom, like what, when she was washing her hands and I waved and it wasn't her, I regret that to this day, even though the girl waved back. And then like, today I'm, I'm in choir and like, we're getting new music and like, he's like, all right, so like these are the parts that everyone has. I'm always an alto, like you've heard my voice, like it is low, like I'm an alto. And he reads off and he's like, all right, second Sopranos, Thompson. I'm like, I'm sorry. What? So now, I'm a second, and I can't handle this because there are two songs that I have already learned on the alto part that I cannot, for the life of me, get into my head as the soprano part. Because even though I sang one of the songs two years ago, I can still sing it. Like, there are songs that I sang in seventh grade in choir that I still remember. I can't just not sing what I know, it it hurts, it physically hurts me. So that's where I'm like, I don't know, is this like a curse? <sighs> yeah, so that's where I'm at. What do you guys think? Is this a gift or a curse? And do you have wonderful memories or horrible memories? I know my best friend can't remember a thing. Surprise, she remembers my name. Yeah, I just, it, it bothers me so much, like, that no one else has this kind of memory. And I'm like, well, what's, what's the dealio with this? I don't get it. So yeah, um, thanks for listening. Uh, 
Have fun, don't get lost, and bring back an adventure. Bye guys.